Welcome back to Echo. We just touched that pedestal back there and gained this strange little thing on our HUD that's around our cube now. With the 16 and the 9 and the little yellow part. Don't know what it means yet. That center looks important. Can I open those doors? I think the doors I can open have white colors around them though. These have blue. <laughs> Great, it's recording that I'm sneaking. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. It's counting down. But to what? Yeah. Looks like somebody saw me. So the 16 went to 15 and the 9 went to 8. Wait, was it a 9? That went to 8 or was it a 7 that went to 8? Uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, obviously we need to touch them all. Which, ooh, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I should probably just run. There's so many around here and they move so slowly. It's probably best if I just run. Uh oh. What the? Oh, okay. That kind of worked out. I bet the pavilion will open when I've collected enough orbs. Yep, just went down to six. Might as well take out the ones I can. Although it does take a bit of time. Oh my god, finish, finish, finish. Ooh. I think I didn't have, I don't know, stamina or something. What's this now? It activated a new interface. I wonder what it's monitoring. All right, try number two. It's counting down. But to what? I bet the pavilion will open when I've collected enough rooms. Yes, there's really no point in trying to kill them, for the most part. Like, long term, because it just keeps constantly restarting. So they're just gonna come right back. Whoa, did one of them just jump down? That's a new ability. Hey! See if that helps. <laughs> yeah! God, that is so creepy the way they're learning and growing. Only four more to go.
That door opens. With the element of surprise back. Now this does make some noise, so somebody might hear it. Yeah, that one over there heard it. I'm not sure why I'm bothering to do takedowns. <laughs> Doesn't really matter in this case. We have left one over here and oh no, three more I think. Only one left. Oh, there's more than you need actually. So are these optional? These tuning forks? It seems like it, because there's no way that I have to get that. safe from them in here. It's cool the way it just makes a little opening. Yeah, let's see if I'm safe from them in here. Hey, girls! Yes! Wait a minute, do they have guns now? Oh, they're starting to get guns. God, they're so creepy. They're even sort of holding the gun up sometimes. Look, it's decrypting the voices. that the voices not decrypted enough to be readable N the lift is slowing you've traveled 55 kilometers 55 kilometers oh oh They're not crossing the water they can run now. So I can go in the water. He can even move around the lily pads and the flowers. They look pretty complete to me. Although they don't have guns. So did we go up or down? It's really cool, you notice how there's like when you get discovered and stuff, 
You know, when something turns orange or red like that right there, it makes a little, like, uh... Like, percussive sounds, like drums and sticks banging and things like that. And it seems like it's actually... Tied to the music really closely, like it just blends in seamlessly with the music, adding beats here and there. So this place looks a bit different than the other place. Yeah, the decor is, is quite different, actually. Different flowers and different vases and the floor is different and... Similar overall structure, but the design of everything is definitely very different. I'm starving. Best thing I ever had. Huh. Is it actually recording me eating grapes? I think it gives me back stamina. It did record me eating grapes, though. So maybe if I just eat like 200 grapes and just stay here for a long time, maybe all my echoes will just be just at the buffet, you know, chowing down. Make things easy for me. You know, just the whole water thing, like the whole flow of this. The flow of the things I'm doing and how they're teaching me how to interact with these echoes. It feels too perfect. Like, it does seem like their existence is at least sort of an accident because of the fact that the cube exploded and... And, well, I guess that's pretty much it. The cube exploded, which seems like it wasn't intended. However, it seems like them existing absolutely was intended. I mean, otherwise, why would the, the palace have the ability to record what I do? Why does it have the capability of making hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of copies? And why does it seem to be teaching me about how they can't go through water or something like that? Like, this is too... too perfect, too planned to be entirely an accident. If something did go wrong, then this is still at least somewhat close to what is supposed to happen, I think, because it's definitely been designed for into the palace. What did that do? Oh, fuck. Fucking hell, I forgot the doors did that. Oh. Just for funsies. Oh. These up here can get me. So yeah, they can hear you when you come up behind them, but as long as you're pretty fast about it, then you're fine. They don't mind the water anymore. Oh, shit. That was just a glitch. Now that they've evolved. <laughs> now it's recording me snapping necks. Now they're gonna snap my neck.
I gotta be really careful, I can't outrun him at this point. Oh, those are the things that I need to get more, uh, more bars of energy. Right. I need three more. I really want to make sure I don't miss any of those, because I seriously want more energy. Yeah, record that. Me eating grapes. I'm hoping they can't see me very well when it's dark. Hopefully. Of course, now it's not dark anymore. So, yeah. The bad thing about having your scanner bubble out is, oh, 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 you can't see. You can't see if someone's detected you. You don't have those yellow and red rings and whatnot. Good thing they don't seem to be able to see my flashlight. it's restarting so they're just gonna come right back oh they moved There's a, I think that's a tuning fork right there. Oh, shit. Yep, it is. So it seems like the scan was able to show me that the tuning fork was there in that room back there. Capable after every blackout. I think there's more to it. I have a weird feeling that the palace is registering my moves with those icy holographs. Then using the information to improve the abilities of those things. A little far between the dots there, Anne. I just feel like there's some strange rhythm to it. A warped set of rules. You are definitely disposed to find meaning where there is none. As you say, it's in your genes. Oh. 
see, I need to make sure I keep scanning. I'm assuming it shows me a tuning fork. Oh, I heard a bunch of things. Oh, down there a couple levels. Which is where I'm going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I assume if it shows me the tuning forks, it also shows me the energy things. It didn't highlight them like the enemies, but it just like showed them as like a ping when it first went over them with the scan, so it's not quite as easy to find. But it definitely helps locating them. Especially since everything looks so... Uh, you know, everything's so repetitive and perfect and mirrored that it's really easy for the eye to just pass over one of those things. So as soon as I jump down, I'm gonna have a bunch of enemies on me, huh? I think. Looks like they're all facing inwards, pretty much. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they've spotted me, but they can't get to me because I haven't opened the doors. Look at them staring. Let me guess, after the reset they're gonna learn how to operate doors? Especially since I've been operating doors? So the ones back there a bit, I saw them having guns, remember? But these don't. I wonder why they lost the guns. I hope they never regain them. <laughs> I love that. Oh, there's a transition animation for coming out of crouching just to eat some grapes. That is beautiful. Yes, record me eating grapes. Le oh. Yep, they just opened the door. They can now open doors. Crap. Oh, tuning fork in there. can't hear that.
I just saw one of them sneaking. Ah, oh, look at him. Right there. Look at that little sneaky in. I totally forgot you could mark enemies, by the way. Oh. Look at them. Look at them. Damn. Oh! I thought I was doing a thing from them for the from the back. That didn't do what I thought it did. Yeah, so it looks like you can't knock them down while they're, like, engaged with you and then do a takedown on them while they're getting up, which makes sense. That'd be a bit kind of cheesy. Look at that sneaky little N. That's somehow delightful and yet creepy at the same time, you clever little shit. I'm gonna laugh my ass off when I see the first one of these echoes eating grapes. That is gonna make me so happy. Oh yeah, where am I going? Hmm, not sure how to get there yet. What if I need to go to the center and jump down? Another sneaky one. Grapes record me, yes. I think I do need to go down. I feel like this is where I came from up here. Let me just check real quick. If it is, then yeah, I think I need to fall down. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I've just done like a full circuit. jump down it might be oh oh yeah I'm not jumping down there crap Thank you. 
Yeah, this is the way I need to go, I think. from me. I'm certain of it. They can't cross the water, but after I've done it and a blackout has evolved them, they do it without hesitation. And you saw how they were trapped behind the doors, pacing to get to me, and after I opened a few and a blackout, it was second nature to them. Oh, right. Yeah, so them not being able to cross water, that wasn't a glitch. It's just that they hadn't learned that they could until I did it. Well, I think I should probably end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.